What is going on, YouTube Averse? John Stanek from Johnny Radio here, bringing you another Top 5 on this glorious Top 5 Friday. And guys, I'm so excited. We're getting through the 2000s here. We're doing the Top 5 Albums of 2004 a spectacular year in music history, if you ask me. A lot of new stuff coming onto the scene that's just great, plus some really old stuff. We'll get to it, but uh, these are my five personal favorites. Let's get right to it at number five. Drug dealing just to get by. Stack your money till it gets sky. The College Dropout by Kanye West. Say what you will about Kanye. This is one of the greatest hip hop debuts in all of rap history. I mean, You've got the iconic Jesus Walks that still holds up today. Uh, the production throughout this record is just fantastic. Uh, and there are just so many great, solid songs like We Don't Care uh, that really tackle some big issues as well as uh, All Falls Down. Uh, you've got Jay-Z making appearances on here, giving it some more clout for a big debut. Even the interludes, which I usually don't care for on hip hop albums, are really entertaining, uh, really funny, and kind of holds the whole narrative about this college dropout together. There's also gems on here like Spaceship, which are great, uh, and of course, Through the Wire, which uh, many know he actually, uh, after a car accident, wrapped through wires in his mouth. Just insane. And if you haven't seen Genius, the Netflix special, which uh, is heavily about this period making this record, um, for the first couple episodes, definitely check it out. Although I wouldn't go as far as to say Kanye is a genius, definitely, uh, especially in this early period and, and for well over a decade, he was just at the top of the hip hop game. So gotta have this on your list. And that's just my number five. So now at number four, Smile by Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys, the album that should have happened back in 1967, but due to mental illness, Brian Wilson couldn't complete it and went back and redid the whole thing with this new group of guys that somehow sound exactly like the Beach Boys. And oh my God, it's produced so well. And I personally, because it's so well done uh, and so clear and crisp, I prefer this over the salvaged The Smile Sessions, which came out a few years later. But uh, just one of the greatest uh, Beach Boys records of all time. I mean, had it come out when it was supposed to, it really would have rivaled Sgt. Pepper. Um, I mean, it's one of those albums you have to listen to in full, but then of course there's standout tracks like Heroes and Villains, which is just amazing. Uh, of course, the closing track, uh, Good Vibrations, I mean, just one of their greatest songs of all time as a single, but gosh, all through the way, I mean, there's so many sound effects, and of course the harmonies are just glorious from that opening of uh, G, or I, I can't remember the name of the opening track, but... Um, it just comes at you from all directions. It's so cinematic, and it really tells uh, kind of a story of uh, you know moving out west and getting all the way to Blue Hawaii. Uh, just an Americana, uh, just masterpiece. And that's just my number four. So now at number three. Love and Distance by the Helio Sequence. You've heard me talk about the Helio Sequence a lot by this point. I had them on my Great 28 album openers with one of the greatest opening tracks of all time from this album, Harmonica Song. Uh, just tremendous. I could go on and on about that song alone. But throughout this album, even the ballads like So Stop, uh, just some really just gorgeous, lush stuff. The production is just top-notch throughout this record. And for just two guys, one being a drummer, one being a vocalist slash guitarist, to create this huge wall of sound on so many songs, uh, you know, Don't Look Away is another one that has this kind of off-kilter drum beat, but it's so catchy. Like, everything on this record just makes you want to, like, put your teeth out, like, mm, yeah, and dance along and sing along, and it's just... Um, yeah, I think it's one of the most underrated records of this whole millennium, and that's pretty much saying something, but that's just my number three. So now at number two,
Trouble by Ray LaMontagne. You knew I was going to have this high on my list. Sweet Ray LaMontagne with his debut album that just came out of nowhere and presented this guy who like feels like he could have been dropped into any time. It's such a timeless sounding album. Uh, you know, the production by Ethan Johns really lends itself, the son of Glenn Johns, to this sound. Songs like the title track opening up, Shelter, which is just such a, an amazing ballad. And I love the chord progression on it. I mean, every song on here is just a masterclass in songwriting, culminating with the amazing Jolene, which... Uh, sorry, Dolly Parton, this is the better of the Jolene's. It is just one of the greatest songs ever written. Um, my gosh, man, the, every song on here is great, but that one particularly just gets me right here. Uh, Ray LaMontagne, of course, can sing anything and sound great, but when you add his songwriting skills on top of it, I mean, Hold You In My Arms is another great one. Uh, How Come is a, is a great rocker. A lot of the stuff on here is slower and more ballady, but uh, it all kind of fits in with that um, just classic 70s, 60s throwback vibe. And uh, yeah, it's just magnificent. And that's just my number two. So now at number one, Aha Shake Heartbreak by Kings of Leon, their sophomore smash that uh, put another one on the books for Ethan Johns, man. What a year for that guy. He produced this record as well. And rightly so another kind of throwback band who was getting uh really for after their debut compared to the strokes and the white stripes a lot of their contemporaries at the time but to me i feel like they owe a lot more to their uh forefathers like the rolling stones and the kinks and you really feel that kind of energy throughout this record but uh yeah it's they, they have their own sound, though, and they're really coming through more with that on this, like the opening track, another one of the greatest album openers of all time, Slow Night So Long, uh, just a manic, awesome rock song with uh, not really a chorus, but an instrumental chorus that's just fantastic, all four guys firing on all cylinders. Caleb Followill, nobody sounds like this dude. And even though most of his lyrics are still kind of unintelligible at this point, uh, you still can't help but sing along on great tracks like Taper Jean Girl and The Bucket. And um, man, you've got the just bluesy rockers. You've got uh, ballads that are also great like Milk and Remimo. Uh, I love every song on this record and I was just an instant fan. Uh, Pistol of Fire is such a, another great rocker. These guys proved that they could do anything and keeping most of their songs on here very short and succinct. It makes you want to just come back for more. And uh, and they continue to get better from here, uh, oddly enough. I mean, just one of the greatest bands of this century. And that is my top five, guys. So let me know in the comments below what you think. What would your top five be if you're so bold leave me a top 10? Like I said, what a strong year in music. I mean, when you've got Brian Wilson as your number four and, and Kanye as your number five, you know you're in a pretty good year. But uh but guys, we got so much more material coming up soon. Uh, just a reminder, if you haven't sent a list in yet for your top 100 albums of the new millennium, please do so. The closeout date is Memorial Day, the 29th, so be sure to get those in, and that countdown will be coming soon thereafter with Nathaniel. Always a blast to be doing that, and so much more uh, stuff coming soon. Of course, top fives every Friday album reviews, so much more. Thank you for watching, and as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.